a field of eight for the first Budweiser Beacon course elimination. All set to go in behind the gate. Here they come. And they're off, and Raffaello Ambrosio with his good speed leaves aggressively, as does Starship Enterprise, and Joy Levesque comes out well between horses. Fortuna winner protecting the inside position, and these four are across the track. In a bit tight there, Fortuna winner and Joy Levesque pinched in. Raffaello Ambrosio now goes off stride, and it's Starship Enterprise who trots on to the early lead. Comet's tail has come away racing in fourth. Angus Hall gapped off the gate slightly. He's gapped two and a half back fifth. CR Renegade follows him. Opening quarter in 27 and four. American E's racing in seventh and Raffaello Ambrosio after that break in the first turn is far behind trailing the field. So it's Starship Enterprise and driver Jim Doherty controlling the tempo. Fortuna winner content to draft along in the pocket from second. Then two lengths to enjoy Levesque who races third. Comet's tail fourth. Angus Hall starts up on the outside for Campbell and he hits his best stride quickly. He's already rushing up into fourth and now he's three wide as enjoy Levesque comes out underneath him as they hit the half and fifth. 57 seconds flat. Starship Enterprise, a length in front, and Joy Levesque moving up on the outside second, and he has room to drop back in if he so chooses. Angus Hall now left first over on the outside. Fortuna Winner can't keep up. He's dropped back fourth, and CR Renegade has a great striking spot. He's floating with live cover, second over on the outside. Comet's tail is trapped in. American E's moving up in six, three quarters, 125 and two, and they come to the top of the stretch. It's Starship Enterprise trying to take them all the way, and Joy Levesque is now in behind him from second. Angus Hall between horses. CR Renegade kicking in on the outside. But Starship Enterprise is under a hand drive from Doherty. He's holding off everyone. No room for Enjoy Levesque. CR Renegade surging up. Starship Enterprise. CR Renegade trotting fast on the outside. CR Renegade in time from Starship Enterprise. And Angus Hall in 154 flat. Back to the winner's circle. Number five, CR Renegade. Three-year-old colt by Royal Troubadour, out of Country K. Sue by Speedy Somali, owned by the Carl and Rod Allen Stables of Ocala, Florida. Carl Allen trains Rod Allen in the sulky. A perfectly timed move for C.R. Renegade, fourth win in nine starts this year. Career best mile of 154 flat. In the upcoming fourth race, scratch number nine, Miss Krista Q. Number nine, Miss Krista Q, scratched sick in the fourth race. Exacta trifecta and pick three betting. There are no other pick three changes. Post time in 17 minutes for race four. Strong, and we're uh, looking real good for next week. In the Canadian trotting class, they get a little problem with the shoes. Maybe you can tell us about that. Just trying to tune them, you know, we're getting ready for the big ones and uh, you got to make some changes to make them perfect and uh, you're not satisfied until they are perfect and looks like he was as good as you can get tonight. A lot of the horses here show big two-year-old seasons, Renegade only one star, what was the reason for that? Well, he was on and off, uh, had a little trouble in the stall, beat himself up, you know, normal two-year-old stuff, they're kind of tough on themselves, but uh, it, it worked out for the better, you know, we went home with a good sound horse, a good strong horse, the only start left I had was the Breeders' Crown and Dad took care of that, so... It was good to go home at the time we did. Well, you won uh, this race four years ago with CRK Susie, the Budweiser Beacon Course final. What about uh, any similarities, brother, full brother, full sister? Well, I always uh, joke about him having a third lung. He doesn't seem to get tired. Either did Susie. I hope, uh, I hope that holds true. Okay, well, Mr. Carl Allen's right here with us, the trainer, CR Renegade. CR Commando's coming up, too. But CR Renegade, does he take a lot of work, or is he kind of a... He's, he was bred for the part. We know that. Well, he's just been kind of a natural. Uh, Rod's done a super job with him, and I don't do much with him. Rod does everything, and uh, we pick him out in the fall, and looks like he picked the right one. I might have picked second best. How do you decide who gets who? Gets who? You have Commando coming up later on, Rod with Renegade. Is that the, the uh, coin toss? Well, we've done that back uh, every year. He picks one, and I pick one, and uh, he got home ahead of me at that time, so he got Renegade, and uh, because he raced Susie, I wanted him to race Renegade. So uh, I took Commando. Okay, Commando's coming up in the fifth of them. What, what can we look forward to? Well, uh, God's already taken care of that, so we'll just see how it plays out. All right, good luck to CR Commando and the Allens as they try to qualify again with another one in the Budweiser Beacon Course, second they limb the fifth race.